Hi there, this is Spencer with Zima Software. Today's tutorial is going to discuss a little bit about real-time wallboards, specifically that of the gauge widget. First things first, go over here to real-time wallboards. I'm going to click on your new wallboard, but you can add a widget to an existing wallboard if you'd like to do that as well. For this tutorial, I'm going to do new wallboard, custom, Let's label this as gauge widget, click apply. Now fourth from the top, one, two, three, and four from the top. I can click gauge widget, click on the gauge widget here on the on the board itself, give it a title, called gauge widget, and I'll put a metric in here. There's a lot of metrics you can pick from. The one that I want to do is just going to be call count. Keep it simple. Just like that. Call count since midnight. Click apply. Now by default, it's going to throw me in here as zero to 5,000, but I can change this value to zero to, let's just say 30. There we go. Gauge widget changes like that. Now the color here by default is this grayish black color. The cool thing about the widget is that you can come over here and you can do a threshold to it. So if I want to add a threshold to it, that anything that is uh, 21 or higher will change red. Just like that. I can go ahead and apply that. Oh, look at that. Changed red at 21. 21 or higher. Now I can add different thresholds to this. If I want to do uh, when it changes to green, when it hits 30, I can do that. Just add a threshold here, put 30, and I want to turn to green like that. Confirm, and then on text. So as this happens, as it gets to 30, it'll then change to green. So just an easy way to see that indication for the threshold itself. Now, 30 is not the limit. You can, of course, change this to whatever you want it to be as far as the max value. But that is how the gauge widget looks and works with thresholds specifically. Go here to design. I can change the background color and change the font itself for the background color and change the font size. I can change the font color. I can change the metrics font, the font size of the metric itself. Metric color, same thing, container. Let's change the background really quick. Do this uh, yellow color. Change the border radius, a little softer edge on there. That's what I prefer. There we go. Border style, let's do this uh, groove style. There we go. Nice solid black line around the side of it. And then of course, change the border color. I like it black, I'll keep it like that. That is the gauge widget, how it works with thresholds, as well as how it is customized.